Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you how to deregister a Fire TV stick. Now this is handy if you've lost the stick, if it's been stolen or you've left it around somebody's house and you don't want them to continue to have access to your Fire TV stick. So all you need to do is just go on a phone, a computer or a tablet and log into the Amazon account that's associated with the Fire TV stick. So let's do that. I'm just going to hop across to my computer. So I'm at my computer now and I just go to amazon.co.uk or whatever your local Amazon is. And then I just need to sign in. So I've popped in my email or mobile phone number, click continue, and I'm going to pop in the password now and then click sign in. So I need to go up to account and lists just up here and then go down to manage your content and device and click on that. Then I go to devices just along the top here, click on devices, and then I click on Fire TV. Now, if you've got more than one device, if you click on the device or the name of the device, like mine says Chris's Fire TV there, it will show you the serial number for every device that you've got. Now, if you have got any current devices registered to that account that you don't want to deregister, then go to each device, go across to the settings cog and then down to my fire tv middle button on the remote control then go to about middle button and you will see the serial number listed there so make sure that that serial number of the one you're going to deregister doesn't match any of the fire tv sticks that you have currently in your possession so then all you do is you just click the word deregister to the right of the fire stick that you want to deregister so it comes up with a warning, deregister this device. Your device is currently registered to your amazon.co.uk account. Deregister a device only when another person is taking ownership of your device. After you deregister, you'll no longer be able to purchase content for your device. So let's just click deregister. Okay, so on the device itself now, there you go. It's come up with sign in with your Amazon account. So, uh, here we've got two options, have an account and sign in or new to Amazon, create an account. So there you go, it's actually deregistered the Fire Stick. Now this Fire Stick is actually still in my possession for the example in this video, but it could be absolutely anywhere in the world. So, and you can deregister it like I say. So what would happen though, if the person that had your Fire Stick was to actually sign into it. So using their own account details or create a new Amazon account. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to sign in using another account that I've got and let's see what happens. OK, so like I say, I've registered this under another account. So they go successfully registered. So it's going to ask me now to continue and it's saying do i want to save the wi-fi passwords to amazon i can say yes or no to this so it's asking me whether or not i want to add a profile let's just go into my profile and there we go it's set up um let's just see i've got a couple of apps on here so uh let's just see let's just go into those apps and yes whilst uh like i say some of the apps have been removed when i've logged into my account some of them still work like for instance the BBC iPlayer is still signed in as it was to uh, the last person who uh, owned this Fire TV stick. Some apps have been removed but some have still remained on there. So what I've found is that if the person now signing into the Fire TV stick already has a Fire TV uh, device set up under their Amazon account and they're logging in with their Amazon account any apps that they have already pre-installed on another device under that account that you had installed on the Fire TV stick will remain on there and they will remain signed in in most cases. However, if the person setting the Fire TV stick up and it's their first Fire TV device they've, they've ever set up under their Amazon account, then all of the apps will be removed within a couple of minutes of setting up the Fire TV stick. However, any third party apps that you've installed from outside of the Amazon App Store 
will remain on there and will be signed in and functioned as they functioned before you deregistered the stick. It should also be noted if the person registering the stick, like I say, has a Fire TV device and has the same app as you, like in my example here, the BBC iPlayer, then it will stay on the stick and probably in most cases will stay signed in as yourself even after you've deregistered the stick. If you do have any third party apps on there and they have a sign in, then the best thing you can do is change your password. Likewise, if you think that somebody who's gonna register this stick may have some of the apps that you had registered on your stick, you could also change your password for those apps. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.